WGN's Ben Bradley and WGN's Lourdes Duarte are here with more on the governor's race. Hey guys. Well, Mike and Ray, we are far from having all of the votes uh, counted in the state, but this map right here illustrates what an uphill long shot bid a rural candidate from downstate Illinois has. Illinois has 102 counties, and as of right now, it's still early, but you can see the ones in red, those are the ones Darren Bailey is leading in. But the reality is there simply aren't enough votes outside of the Chicago area to win a governor's race without also picking up strong support in Chicago's suburbs. And Darren Bailey has not done that. While he can lead a lot of counties with the notable exceptions of Chicago, and this is Sangamon County where Springfield is located, he's still losing by a few hundred thousand votes. Illinois Lourdes, as you know, has 12 and a half million residents. About nine and a half million of them live in the Chicago area, and you need some of them to vote for you to win a statewide race. Darren Bailey has not accomplished that. So what you're saying is that it may look good on the map for Darren Bailey when you see all the red, mm -hmm. but not so much when it comes to the vote count. Exactly. At least not at this point. Okay, one of the other things, things that we wanted to talk about is money and how mm -hmm. much has been spent on this campaign. Just to give you an idea, $17 billion has been spent nationwide on races, federal, state races. Here in Illinois, you're looking for that governor's race, $217 million between those two candidates. And here's a look at how it breaks down. Down. JB Pritzker self financed his campaign, pouring in $132 million plus into his campaign. And then you've got this gentleman over here, which some of you may recognize, Richard Uline from Wisconsin. He donated total nationwide, it was actually closer to $80 million, $42 million went to the PAC people who play by the rules PAC. So that helped finance the Darren Bailey campaign mm -hmm. and so many others here in Illinois. And you have to wonder that people who play by the rules PAC mm -hmm. was run by Dan Proft, who makes a lot of money cutting mm -hmm. those ads for Darren Bailey, though there's no coordination. But what did they get for it? Right? right? Not a lot. And when you have billionaires financing the money, at least J.B. Pritzker got a win out of it. I don't know what Uline got yeah, out of it. Yeah, and we talk about these numbers, but you got to remember in the previous election, what's another name that we need to mention? Ken Griffin. Mm -hmm. He donated in that election $50 million. So when you add up that money, mm -hmm. that's a whole and lot. And Ken Griffin, by the way, now uh -huh. living in Florida, he didn't get much <laughs> for that money either. All right.